at three minutes downrange, 70 miles, 43 miles high, velocity 9,300 feet per second. We got skirt zap. Roger, we confirm skirt zap. Tower's gone. Roger, tower. Neil Armstrong confirming both the engine skirt separation and the launch escape tower separation. Houston, be advised the visual is go today. This is Houston, Roger out. Yeah, they finally gave me a window to look out. Eleven Houston, uh, your guidance has converged. You're looking good. Downrange 140 miles, altitude 62 miles, velocity 10,300 feet per second. 11 Houston, you are a go at four minutes. Gotcha. Apollo 11 right on the ground track. miles downrange now, 72 miles high, velocity 11,000 feet per second. Tracking it for quite a long period of time here with the Air Force cameras about 80 miles in altitude now and more than 200 miles downrange. And still got a... Booster says it's looking good at five minutes. Then Houston, you are go at five minutes. Roger, you're all 11, go. Downrange, 270 miles, altitude 82 miles, velocity 12,472 feet per second. Fly to S4B to COI capability. Okay. Mark, S4B to COI capability. Roger. We're losing a bit of the uh, spacecraft, uh, so we'll go to our animation of it and follow the sequence. Using the S4B if necessary. You're sitting in your living room. Oh, thank you. You all are coming through beautifully, too. It is the second stage of the Saturn that is still firing and will continue to fire for about another four minutes now. Everyone's reporting go here in the control center. Go at six minutes, starting to get motors. Roger, 11, uh, your go from the ground at six minutes. This is Houston, level sense arm at 8 plus 17, uh, outboard cutoff at 9 plus 11. When you see it in the early stages of the liftoff and realize that the level sense arm is the sequence that uh, arranges the staging between the second stage and the third stage, the fuel uncovers uh, a sensor starting that sequence. Uh, and realize that the rocket is 360 feet high. Predicting that will be uncovered at 8 minutes 17 seconds with outboard engine cut off 9 minutes 11 seconds on the second stage. Apollo 11, go at 7 minutes. 11, this is Houston. Roger, your go from the ground at 7 minutes. Level sense arm at 8 plus 17. Outboard cut off at 9 plus 11. Roger. Downrange 530 miles, altitude 95 miles, velocity 17,358 feet per second. They're within about five miles of as high as they want to get on the launch. But I was trying to say that the flame shooting out of the rocket is two, perhaps three times as long as the rocket itself, which is uh, 300 feet. 11 still right down the ground the track, still go the flame at seven minutes, 41 seconds. Roger, we confirm. Inboard engines are out on the second stage as planned.
Apollo 11, go on all sources. It's in your go at eight minutes. I've just felt the mixture ratio shift. Roger, we got PU shift down here too. This is Houston, you are go for staging, over. Houston, go for staging. Stand by for mode four capability. To mode four. Mark, mode four capability. Mode four and Apollo 11 could get into orbit using the service propulsion system now. Altitude is 100 miles, downrange 883 miles. Outboard engine cutoff. And ignition. Again, right on time. Ignition confirmed, thrust is go, 11. And now the and third stage. We have stage a good third stage them. now. It stays with them for some time yet. Velocity 23,128 feet per second. Downrange 1,000 miles. Altitude 101 miles. This is Houston. At 10 minutes, you are go. And Roger, let us go. Capcom Bruce McCandless giving the reports here from the control center. Apollo 11, this is Houston. Predicted cutoff at 11 plus 42. Over. 1142, Rich. It'll be 11 minutes and 42 seconds into the flight from the third stage. Downrange 1175 miles, velocity 24,190 mile feet per second, altitude 102 nautical miles. Apollo 11 still go on all sources. Apollo 11, this is Houston. You are go at 11. Here you go. <clears throat> We're predicting third stage shutdown at 11 minutes, 42 seconds. Velocity 25,254 feet per second. Downrange 1,400 miles now. Altitude uh, 102.8 nautical miles. Shut down. Shut down right on time. 101.4 by 103.6. Roger, shut down, and we copy 101.4 by 103.6. This is Houston. You are confirmed to go for orbit. Well, they, in fact, are in orbit. And this is mission control in Houston. Sir. This is Houston. The booster is safe. All right, sir. Show velocity at insertion 25,568 feet per second. on our map at the NBC News Space Center about where they are located, the flashing lights out over the Atlantic Ocean. They are in orbit.
almost exactly what they had in mind. They wanted a circular orbit of about 101 nautical miles. The orbit is 101.4 by 103.6. And they got the speed they wanted, 25,568 feet per second, about 17,500 miles an hour. All of it routine so far, routine appearing, yet we all realize that this is the beginning of the most audacious undertaking that man has ever attempted. We'll be back in just a moment. <laughs> 